Hello fellow YouTubers, it's Juris Julie here in Marion Art Dark and Glamour and I'm bringing you not a look. <laughs> no, actually bringing you a haul. A haul that I did today that was not planned, did not plan on spending money, but me and makeup are... I'm Marion, I confess, I'm a makeup hoarder. So to speak, I don't know. You something you need to be up to date with makeup, and you find good deals. You find good deals. I'm sorry, not sorry, but here we go. I went to three different places today. I was pretty bored, so I'm say, okay, you know what? Let's take a trip here and there and see what you find, right? So the first stop today was Walmart, and they were having clear a clearance. So they had like a clearance area in the makeup section, and they had a whole bunch of stuff on clearance. Like it was pretty much lots of the uh, NYC cosmetics. Um, what else was it? It was another thing too, but mainly NYC and they had lots of lipsticks, lip glosses, um, some of the Demi Lovato stuff, not the one stuff that you would really want, but most of it was gone anyway. And so I picked up a couple of things. Um, uh, first thing on my list, I'm not going to do swatches for everything just because I haven't opened some things and I just don't want to delay in talking about it, but I picked up this. What's it called? NYC Get It All Foundation Stick. These things right here. Picked up four of them. Just because, you know, they're always good to have in handy. And I do confess, I never really know 100% what's my skin tone coming, you know, for foundation. And I like to play around, mix around. I try not to accidentally make, me, make myself too dark, too light. I'm just still having to find that perfect foundation. So it's always trial and error with everything. But anyways, enough about that. Um, yeah, I bought four of them. They were actually $2 each. <clears throat> I think, I, I don't know what the original prices were because it wasn't labeled. But I picked up, um, let's see, in light, uh, natural beige, uh, nude, and uh, warm beige. More beige being the darkest one. You can't really say, see that well, but because of the lighting, I'm gonna do apologize for that. But yes, picked up those four foundation sticks. Let's see how they go, and I'll let you know. I also picked up from NYC, it's from the Demi Lovato collection. It's the Love Addicts by Demi Lip and Cheek Tint. I just picked up the one in Cheeky Pink. This stuff right here. So apparently it's for the tint your lips, since I already have lipstick on, I'm going to try it on my lips, but I'm going to put a little bit on my finger, and see, it goes on like that, I guess you rub it in, until it appears the way you want it to appear. It's a very pink tone, very sheer, you really can't tell, I think it's more on my finger, yeah, it's a very pink tone, very light pink tone, pretty much what it says in the name, cheeky pink. Very light pink. And then I picked up two um, lip colors. This one is NYC Smooch Proof Lip Color, lips, Liquid Lip Stain. And it's a nice bright magenta pink. And it is what it is. It's a tint. It's very light, very sheer. And my hands are jittery. For that extra shot of espresso, my Dunkin' Donuts drink. Anyways, and then I picked up Riverdale Matte Red. This is actually Everlast Matte Lip like Liquor. Liquor. I'm supposed to say liquor. Lacquer. <laughs> and I, I'm a sucker for red. So, and retro red lips. So, and this is like a, hmm. yeah, I'd say it's very kind of retro-y. And when it dries, it's supposed to dry matte and last. So, we'll see about that. <laughs> Moving on, now we're going to go to Walgreens. Uh, Walgreens, I was really on the hunt for the new, the pink, the white um, makeup brushes from Wet n Wild with the pink tip. And I've so far gotten a foundation brush, um, a stippling brush or something like that. And I could never find the other ones. And so today I found the last three in their, in their, in their, in their row. And it was the crease brush. So I picked up these three babies and they're mine. I love crease brushes. You can't ever have enough crease brushes. These are 99 cents each, which is a good deal. This lighting sucks. <laughs> Sorry. And then I picked up, because it was on sale, the Rimmel London. It's from the Kate Moss uh, collection. It comes with a highlighter, contour, and blush. 
and I picked it up in Coral Glow. Can't really notice, but I actually have it on my face right now, so I can turn up this light. But this is what it looks like. Sorry for the lighting. And so this is the color of for the the brush blush 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 the highlights right here, and then I contour very so lightly on the side here and right up here. So it's very tame. It's not too intense, but so far so good. I like it. I like it a lot. And it's normally like what six bucks or something, and it was like forty percent off. So I was like, let's give this a whirl and see what it does to me. And then the biggest haul part of my haul of the day is. I have never really stepped into a Dollar General, and there's one like up the street for where I live. And I was like, let me see what's in here. I mean, I've never really been in one, so let's see what's going on. So I walked around, kind of a clutter, cluster of stuff in that store. And then I finally reached the point where they had the makeup, and then I was like, okay, hold on one second. And then I went straight to the makeup section. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they have like a huge collection of LA Color stuff. And I didn't know that. I thought you can normally find that stuff like in a dollar store or something like that. But I actually found it there. That dollar General. Ding, ding. <laughs> Anyways, so I picked up a couple of things. Um, I picked up these three Baby Pop eyeshadows from LA Colors. That's one on my, well, two on my lid right now. There's like a nude color and this one called Teal Steel. I use that in my look for today. These colors right here. Really pretty. And I also picked up the kind of a kind of a bluish color, blue shimmer color, and blue mermaid. And it looks like a mermaid, like a, a mermaid would have. And it's really pretty shimmer. So these things were like two for one dollar. So I got two of these and one of these and a liner. So dollar, dollar, two of them. Good, good deal. And then I picked up some of their matte lipsticks. This one is called Mad Love. It's a very matte uh, magenta color. It's right here. This color right here. And then a very matte, more of a very deep red color. And this is called Mysterious. a very deep red color so that was pretty nice so let's see how that goes I love me some deep colors deep red colors so I also picked up this wonderful LA colors high shine shea butter glip gloss in what's your I think it's called lavish or something I'm mistaken I can't really see the name yes it's lavish <laughs> and it looks like a very deep purple color pretty nice and as far as I can see, it looks like a very deep purple. And then when I apply it onto my pinky here, it is deep and very high gloss, guys. Sorry if it seems like I'm shaking, but I really am not. I'm going to be the coffee jitters. Alright, oh. Anyways, and then I picked up some liners. Um, they're graphics eyeliners. I took a deep breath just because I was disappointed in one of them. I got this purple one because purple is my favorite favorite color and it was really the it just made me sad a tear um, didn't come out the color I wanted to it came out really watery as you can see it's very watery it's more watery than anything else nothing pigmented about this y'all sad day but when I go to the black one because you can always need a black liner it was much better. Dark, dark, dark. Good, dark, simple, black liner. And then I picked up a crayon, a black crayon. Looks like the uh, the NYX Jumbo Crayons and Black Bean. Let's just see if it's like it, meaning color payoff. You never know. So it's called Jumbo Eye Pencil. And the color is called sunglasses. Sunglasses, put the shades on. And let's see. Okay. It's pretty dark. Pretty creamy. Pretty easy to light on you. And it's a good comparison. Great dupe for your NYX Black Bean Jumbo Eyeshadow Crayon. 
and this one's in sunglasses. Another two for one were these eye pencils from LA Colors. One's in vivid purple and the other one's an electric blue. I've always wanted an electric blue color for my eyes and I found it in this. So this is electric blue. Nice. And then this is the vivid purple. Which is, they glide on well. Not sure how about durability yet, but I'll let you know. <laughs> So either all the crazy swatches, I look like a mess, oh my goodness, gross. <laughs> um, but that's part of a makeup, makeup artist life, I guess. And last but not least, it's these, this little palette, this Glam Palette 18 color eyeshadow. And this one doesn't really have a name to it, but it's pretty much all blues, greens, in that general family. There were other ones I would have picked them up, but I feel like I have a lot of the other colors. I have lots of nude colors and and burgundies and and pinks and stuff. And I don't think I have enough blues and greens. So, and then I'm gonna swatch a couple of these, like this deep blue, pretty nice. This green, another nice green, just like that green I got previously. And how about? this one up here you know they're pretty pigmented they're not bad they pretty they come on to your finger really well and they are very nice and blendable too so it's another thing to give a whirl around and see how they come out and, and present you some looks oh and I do have one more thing that I got from Dollar General these were two dollars false lashes starlet lashes here they had a whole bunch of other ones but these ones are actually called my because I I want fuller lashes and this looks like something I would like to use and it says reusable so to use use again and that's what I have for y'all that's my collector haul of today St. Patrick's Day March 17th and I hope you guys enjoy this collective haul um, if you've seen on any, any of these things and you want me to create a look which I most likely will but if you see anything that you want me to say, okay, let's see how that actually looks on you, and I'll do it. Just let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Tell people, tell your friends about Dark and Glamour. Follow me on Instagram under Dark and Glamour. And I do have a Facebook page, which I really don't put much attention to, like I should. But I also have a Facebook Dark and Glamour page. And soon, in the not so distant future, I will be live streaming. Bringing live streams from that from livestream.com I signed up for it some weeks ago and I've been meaning to do a live chit chat live tutorial type thing and cause I, used, I used to do it pretty much on Periscope but not many people have Periscope I don't know we'll see how that goes but like I guess I stay tuned for more and thank you for watching and taking the time to watch you guys mean the world to me and thank you for the new subscribers who have subscribed and stay tuned for more Dark and Glamour until next time Bye, gorgeous people. Mwah.